We're with Ryan Purcell, the St. George Ravens netminder, following the 7-4 victory over the Kingsville Kings in game number one of the South Division semifinal. Uh, Ryan, you are sharp tonight. Miller Hatton is first of three goals in the first period at the 6.57 mark. And then your teammate Carter Tracy on the penalty shot. Uh, but like I just mentioned, you were sharp up until that point. Uh, your thoughts on the victory tonight? Well, you know, we had four lines going tonight, so it's pretty pretty easy to get a W once everybody's buying in. Puck seemed to find me tonight pretty well. Third period, got a couple of passes, but that's hockey. So Now the Kings made a late comeback. Uh, the goal by Garcia and previous to that by David Vosterek, uh, 410 showing on the clock in the third. You were up, uh, looked like you had it in the bag, and then those two late goals by the Kings. Uh, did you have any worry on those two late goals? No, you know, you can't be worried in playoffs. Things are going to happen, and that's just playoff hockey. They're not going to stop. Everybody plays 60 minutes, so that's hockey. Game number two in Kingsville Saturday night. Uh, long drive up, about a three hour bus ride. Uh, barring traffic, uh, winter weather, those kind of conditions. Uh, any, uh, will you take a different mindset into going on the road on game two on Saturday night? No, definitely not. We had a good game today. Four lines were going, everybody, everybody bought in, so we can't change a thing going into Kingsville. Whether it's in our barn or theirs, we gotta play the same. Uh, looking back in the season a bit, I don't know if you can remember this far back, the All-Star game. Uh, yeah. Big smile on your face. They had a goalie-style competition. You scored a goal there. Big smile resulting from you off that. Uh, give us some of your thoughts on your All-Star experience. Oh, that was crazy. That was a lot of fun. A lot of guys there. Everybody's good guys. And then uh, somehow I, got, <laughs> I ended up being the shooter in the shootout. And... Uh, Made the goalie bite and threw back and toe drag, so put her in. Last interview here, we did uh, Carter Tracy a couple weeks back. An ex-teammate of yours on the New Hamburg Firebirds. Uh, does it make it a more uh, enjoyable experience coming over here with a familiar face, an ex-teammate? Oh, for sure, especially at the beginning when you come in knowing nobody. It's always good to have a familiar face there, so... Uh, Trace coming over has definitely had a big impact on me and vice versa, help each other out. Um, you've sort of split time with Ty Lewis here in St. George, the St. George native. You're from Waterloo. You each played uh, in 18 games. You're both, you both have almost identical stats in both save percentage and goals against average. Uh, what's it like having a teammate push you? Does that make you better or is there a, a rivalry between the two of you for more ice time? Honestly, there's zero rivalry. Me and Louie, we, we've known each other growing up, and it just so happens our both our last years of juniors and ended up being goalie partners. So we laugh about it every now and then, and of course it's always good to have a healthy little rivalry, keep each other going, but it was a great time playing with them. So. What, do you, what can we expect out of the Ravens the rest of the series? Are you, going to, are you planning on stepping up your game uh, moving forward at this point, or will Ty see some... Ty Lewis, excuse me, see some action in this series. Honestly, that one's up to the coach, but I feel whether or not it's me or Louie in the net, our team's got a pretty good chance of winning. So we're both not too worried about that right now. Thanks a lot for joining us this evening. A 7-4 victory on the evening over the Kingsville Kings. A great victory through the first game. We'll be back here on uh, Monday evening. A 7 o'clock start. Uh, thanks, Ryan, for joining us. No problem. Thank you.